Hi, I'm Molly Luti. Hi, I am Kay Suzuki. And I'm part of Kay and Molly Textiles. This is a social enterprise that we started to create good jobs for refugees and immigrants about 10 years ago. One of the things that we did when we knew that we were going to have to close was make a calculation for our staff to see that they would be well taken care of. We did lay off our staff at the end of March when we had to close our studio. We were able to give them a severance check to carry them over and to time out when the $1,200 would come in, when um, the UI benefits would kick in, and then the extra $600. So we feel confident that our staff will be taken care of. Before COVID-19, uh, most of our business was uh, wholesale accounts from small shops across the country. That, of course, changed when most of the small shops closed down. And um, we now are dependent on our online store. So we switched all of our inventory onto our online store. And now we're receiving orders from people all over the country that are supporting small businesses. And we're very grateful for that, that input and that support. Um, and so I think to date we've donated close to 500 um, dish towels or sold them at very reduced rates so that people can um, use the material to make face masks for, for the community. To be able to make the kits available and as well uh, the instructions online, I think has been our way to contribute to this real community spirit of helping our healthcare workers. The artisan community has been greatly affected by COVID-19. Um, this is the time of year when markets open and when craft fairs happen and of course all of those have been cancelled. So we've seen many of our friends go online and in some cases that's worked very well, in other cases it's been more difficult. Uh, but this city has been incredibly supportive and we're very grateful to live in a town where the city supports the artisan, the creative community. After this pandemic subsides, I really hope that we learn the lesson that we are connected, not just locally, but globally. There are just a lot of things that I think we've learned or are learning through this pandemic that shows us that people are willing to help each other. And I hope that's one of the big lessons we learn going forward. When the pandemic subsides, I really hope that our staff will come back. Kay and I miss our staff and our lunches together and working together as a team. So I hope they'll all be able to come back and that the orders will come in and that we can get back to some kind of normalcy. We'll have to be creative in the way we go forward, but we're optimistic.